What's going on everybody? This is Jose, and so I've been asked by a couple people to go ahead and show off how I did the Atomic Reconstructor automation. So I figured I'd go and show you now. I'm currently in a test world in Minecraft 1.11.2 with the latest version of Actual Editions and a few other mods, but none of them are really particularly helpful here. So we can go ahead and get everything set up. So you're going to need a space here for your automatic precision dropper to face upwards and you can leave it on deactivation mode and you're gonna need a pressure plate. You can then place your atomic deconstructor which will require power just as a reminder here so we will actually move this a little bit closer to another power setup I already have and you will need to put your atomic deconstructor or reconstructor anywhere in the vicinity really just not directly next to it is the biggest thing so you can put it maybe uh, here or I mean, you can put it right next to it. In fact, it doesn't really make a huge difference. And if you grab yourself, we're going to need a laser. So you will go ahead and grab the energy laser relays and a laser wrench to link the two. Whoops. There we are. We'll start getting some power here. And this is a quartz world, so it's going to start going almost automatically, so we'll turn it to pulse mode only. And now all we need to do is put a hopper down with the chest. And lastly, we have our ranged collector already ready and raring to go. So if we put our ranged collector, we can go ahead and put another chest if we want to with a hopper on it. Uh, and we can put our ranged collector down here. And if we just go ahead and cheat on a crystal, we can get our own if we want to, but we can go ahead and whitelist, ignoring metadata, crystals, and that way if we throw one out in the world, it'll get sucked up and dropped into the chest. So now, if we want to auto-craft these, all we have to do is grab a few of our ingredients. So we can grab some iron, or diamonds, or just about anything really, if we want to grab some emeralds too. And there you go. You see that's pretty quick, and everything went through and finished its stuff. So this is completely independent of any other mods except for actually additions and Minecraft. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this relatively short tutorial. And if you need any uh, sort of inspiration or ideas of creative ways of setting this up, go ahead and let me know and I can maybe give you some ideas. But this is essentially one of the most compact ways of doing it, short of maybe relocating the ranged collector somewhere else is the only other thing I can think of you could do to make this any more compact. But for the most part, this is only taking up a 3x2 area. So I think that's pretty good. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.